Yeah. We're strong. We're men. We move things. Welcome to the video. It's on the mic. Your hostess with the most is welcome. Settle in. Grab yourself a nice bubbly cider on this hot summer day. Sit back and lounge out. Turn the volume up. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on notifications. Give this thing a thumbs up for the gym update. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a couple weeks. I miss you. I haven't been on Instagram. I haven't been on twitch.tv slash silent Mike. And we haven't even been here on youtube.com slash silent Mike. We've been a little busy. And as you can see with some of the B-roll, we've done a lot. I don't remember where we left off, but we picked up these platforms on auction from Sacramento State. And a lot of people are gonna say, wow, man, why'd you buy uh, platforms? I see all my favorite Fitzmos uh, building platforms. And there is some defi definite merit to building a platform, and we are going to build some platforms depending on the purpose of where they're gonna go. But so we're gonna have outlying walls with five half racks. And I chose half racks in case we have people that may want a weight lift. As you notice, we dropped the new 50% facts with my boys. Uh, Danny and Dean, who own Kathleen Kilos, a very popular lifestyle brand in the weightlifting sector. Um, and those guys, I think, and Connor and me, and we're going to be kind of the norm here, where we kind of squat, we like to power clean, maybe we used to compete in powerlifting or weightlifting, and they still just want to catch a pump and bounce. The benefit of the platforms that we bought is they're about a foot dense of hardwood. Um, they're obviously manufactured by a big company, they're put together, uh, these ones I believe are hammer strength or power lift. Uh, so they're more industrial strength, which long term for weightlifting, if you're dropping weights or heavy deadlifts, um, is that your equipment, your barbells, your plates, and the platforms themselves uh, will have a little bit more life to them, a little bit more longevity. Secondly, the price factor. To build a platform for us would probably be $150 to $250 pure materials, just, just wood and rubber. Um, we got these things for $250. So in pure material, this is hardwood versus just some plywood. Uh, the overall quality is better, and besides it being a little bit of a pain in the buttocks to move down here, and a little pain in the buttocks uh, to get this vinyl decal off from Sacramento State University where we got them, uh, these things are in perfect condition. So um, while we were building this beautiful desk, which is the, the more of the update, so we got the entry desk, and we built it by hand. We had Kyle, Mr. GM, general manager, El Jefe's uncle in town, uh, to help us kind of blueprint this thing. He made all the cuts and measurements and then he would kind of send me, Kyle and Connor off, and we put this thing together and it actually turned out uh, much better than I expected. So uh, we have a nice tabletop here for people to check in. It's about a 12 foot desks. Um, we'll obviously have a, a, a beep in, check in barcode type system uh, to keep track of people's activities. Um, music system is gonna set up here, another update. But basically, we built this thing in the course of maybe three six-hour days um, from, from first just raw wood to now usable, polishable, sealed desk. Um, so really excited about that. Uh, we went the extra mile with it, put it into the wall. It's now a fixture. It's stuck here. We have inserts with electricity and USB cords built into the desk. We built in full shelving back here for any kind of miscellaneous things uh, that we may need over time, even though we're gonna have a back room, storage room still available. So while we were messing with this desk, putting it together those three days, we were simultaneously figuring out what we think both aesthetically uh, and functionally would work to refurbish the platforms. Now, again, they were high grade um, and, and very well built, uh, but they had a Sacramento State vinyl on it, and obviously we want our own branding, our own flair to it. Uh, and then two, uh, they just need a little sprucing up. Just a little bit of, you know, um, we're gonna flip the mats inside out that were on the side that maybe took some beading from the platform or the barbells. Uh, and then as well as bringing out a little color or a little bit of life or a little flair, a little flavor, a little bam uh, to it. So what we decided to do is we sanded the whole thing down a billion different times because it had a really thick, almost like hardwood uh, basketball court, urethane poly coat on it. Um, which just protects the wood. Most people, again, when they build their own platforms, they'll just go raw wood, and it'll last a good while, but these things are built to last a lifetime. Um, and so we had to strip that entire thing down so then we could get the vinyl piece off. So then now we're throwing in kind of our, our state colors, California, which is also a lot of our branding colors on each platform to see how that looks, and that's currently literally what we just did right now. 
Uh, on top of that, we've had a bunch of little baby details that Jim has been crushing. Again, attention to detail, I think, is what takes branding, storyline, community, culture, apparel into the next stratosphere. And that's what I think a lot of industries do well. Something like technology. You step into an Apple store and you automatically get a sense of where you are, what you're doing, and how everything looks clean and feel. There's a feel, there's a vibration to it, there's a culture about it. Uh, you step into a Jamba Juice, you step into a, what's another example? Chick-fil-A, you step into a, a, a boutique clothing store and you get a certain vibe as soon as you step in. Um, Disney World is one of my favorite places and I know you guys are going to make all these memes about adults liking Disney. I'm not watching Cinderella by myself at night all the time. But what it does, Disney World does something insane with the art direction. You're waiting in line for a ride, a Star Wars ride, and you already feel like you're in a spaceship. There's things keeping your attention. All the decoration and the art direction are so on point. Um, I admire that and I honestly love that. So that's something we're trying to put into every detail here. And that's what Jim has done throughout the bathroom. So uh, he's fixing the doors to make them fit our culture, our vibe, our brand. He's changing the toilet paper dispensers to fit our culture, our vibe, our brand. Uh, the signage that, that is for the bathrooms, culture, flavor, brand. The shower curtains are now up. The, the shower flooring, the non-slip flooring. Um, all of these small details are slowly starting to get to place, put into place to build this place's lifeblood and kind of breathe oxygen into it. Um, we're getting very, very close to the last pieces, which is the equipment. That's you know, to the, to the regular person opening a gym. And to make a functional gym, I wouldn't disagree. What do you need? You need four walls, a roof, maybe a sound system, and some squat racks. But to us, this is gonna be so much more. One, because we're building it by hand. We're not just hiring contractors. We're literally building it by hand. And two, because of the attention, the detail, that's not just putting a squat rack in an open area for people then to basically lease out that space. We're trying to build something special here um and i think the attention detail will will look in so we got three banging 15 speakers that we're going to hang up tomorrow we're going to be in the sky out of sight but still uh be able to really thump we'll do one in this b room we're calling it which is the bodybuilding room and in the a room we'll have two 15s we have this insane mixer i got that will allow us to control every aspect of of eq i don't know if for those nerd heads there this the thump 15s by mackie mackie's a company i used back in the day when i dj'd uh it's this new mackie ipad use uh mixer uh like 16 channel literally way o overpowered for what we're using but it's still very cool uh, and will allow us to do kind of wireless adjustments to the music and volume um, this desk is pimped out ready to go we had an electrician coming today i know i just said we're building everything by hand but i don't want to kill myself so we had an electrician putting a couple extra outlets um, right here again is the entry space the check-in management all that to my right over here will be full retail and obviously it's not a big space but we're more boutique we're not trying to sell a billion shirts we're doing one-off designs one time clean full detail full design handmade cut and sew from us so it'll be limited clean setup here to my left we'll have snacks you know maybe energy drinks caffeine uh, waters etc for what you need uh, and that kind of fills out this space so we got electric ready the sound system's going in tomorrow platforms are nearly finished once we figure out these colors we're going to decide on our final choice which is to kind of leave a stripe uh, which i think is a cool idea kind of wood stripe wood of our color paneling on each platform so it'd be like the red platform, the yellow platform, the green platform, or we'll see how it turns out tomorrow and we may just paint the whole thing if we like that look better, um, which I also think is unique because not a lot of people paint their platforms. Uh, shout out to our boy Ben, Outcome Athletics. He does like hand art on platforms, but no one with a pure color. Again, final details are in the works. We still got a ton of work to do on the back podcast kind of fulfillment room. Um, we are already working on our second launch. So first launch is in the mix. You guys saw a small leak on my Instagram, follow me, Silent Michael 2 ks That's coming very soon. And I know everybody says this, and I, I will probably stop repeating it in December, but all our clothing, the apparel, one for my personal growth, I need to find something to push me to be better and push you know, what my fulfills me and creating is. So although I'm very stressed and chaotic because we have this to settle down and that, my goal is to do a design, whether it be a hoodie, shorts, socks, hat, lifestyle items that we enjoy and once they're once that we make them and sell them they're gone i'm not bringing that back uh, i want to force myself to create something new every two three four months whenever we do a new launch so first launch is in the warm-up 
branding will be coming, so stay tuned here for leaks on that. If you want to get first hands on the apparel, it's 3sb.co. Um, those will be the very first people to get an opportunity to buy our clothing, them, my Twitch community, and our podcast, 50% Facts. After that, we'll probably put it on the YouTube, put it on the Instagram, and, and show everybody that it's live. But very first launch is a couple hats. We got some dope tees and some very unique shorts that I'm really stoked on that are coming in one secret lifestyle item. And that's gonna kind of be the goal with every launch. I want kind of, what do you wanna call it, elect, uh, collectible or not? I wanna make one item based on our branding of good company, something that we all enjoy, the four of us, that you do with a friend. It's an item, it's an accessory, it's a collectible that based around something you can't do alone. I mean, you can't do it alone, but all these are what made for teammates, they're made for friends. So. Stay tuned to that within the next week or two. Updates coming soon. Ask all your questions below. Let me know what you want to know. What, I mean, if you want X's and O's, if you want business stuff, if you want kind of the branding, the thought behind it, uh, or the physical stuff. I'm no, you know, is it Bob Via? I'm no Bob Via or Tim the Toolman Taylor, but I'm fairly handy and we're both, all, all four of us are learning a ton as we go um, tackling this project. So it's been a lot of fun to kind of get your hands dirty where you know, no shots fired, but every company I see built around the world, fitness or not, people are just buying stuff. And uh, we're literally putting blood, sweat, and tears into this thing. So um, it feels good. The momentum is going very, very well. We did our first podcast here live, which was a lot of fun. I love podcasting in person, and, and it kind of re, re, rekindled the flame of creating content. So here we are talking to you guys. I appreciate you, man. Silent Mike. Third Street Barbell on Instagram. Be sure to give it a follow. We're almost near 3,000. We'll probably do a couple giveaways coming out when the launch drops. Stay tuned within the next two weeks for exclusive apparel drops. Uh, and we'll catch up with you soon. Appreciate you. Mike, I'm out.